normally we have Friday's Heroes uh, every Friday in the mayor's office, but today uh, we have such a celebration that uh, we had to move it down to Civic Plaza. And I think that's a, a very fitting thing because we're going to talk about some very special people today. We're going to talk about some heroes that uh, made a difference, that saved lives, and at the same time uh, put their lives in danger. Today we're all joining together to honor several men who put themselves in danger to stop a shocking stabbing in the midst of a church service at one of our great churches in town, uh, St. Jude's Church on the west side. A special thank you to Correction Secretary Greg Mercantile, Bernalillo County Sheriff Dan Houston, uh, Chief Ray Schultz, uh, Fire Chief James Breen, all for being here today to help us honor these fine individuals. Our Friday's heroes are generally Albuquerque police officers and Albuquerque firefighters, but today we're gonna expand that. Uh, today we have an Albuquerque police officer, uh, Darren Diaguero, Albuquerque Fire Department Lieutenant Greg Aragon, Department of Corrections Sergeant Gilbert Flores, FBI Special Agent Charles Metzler Jr., and Rio Rancho Police Officer Chris Maestas. Chris could not be with us today, but we want to send our thank yous to him as well. As you know, a couple of weeks ago, folks from across the city were worshiping at St. Jude Thaddeus Catholic Church when their service was brutally interrupted by a man that started violently stabbing members of the choir. Five off-duty public safety officials quickly went into action, grabbing the offender and holding him down until emergency responders uh, got there. We also had several civilians involved in that incident. While assisting with the takedown, Albuquerque Fire Department Lieutenant Greg Aragon was stabbed in the head. Greg didn't realize that he had been stabbed until minutes after he started triaging other patients. He was then transported to the hospital and had to get two staples. Uh, that does not sound very, very fun. Uh, in his head. While this was a tragic day, certainly for our entire community, we're eternally grateful that these brave men went into action so quickly, preventing injuries and saving lives. And we talk about this a lot. This is the kind of stuff that makes us so proud and blessed to have individuals who get up every day and risk their lives to help us. But so many times with Friday's Heroes, uh, we will tell stories about individuals who were off duty. And once again today, that's the case. The swift action by taken by these five heroes put a stop to a, uh, a horrible act and protected the entire congregation from further injuries. And each of these five men played a vital role in protecting their family and the friends and families of other St. Jude parishioners, making each of these heroes, uh, heroes not just to their families, but to other petitioners uh, uh, at the church. So we want to thank you, each and every one of you, for uh, taking the life-saving action that you did. I want to call uh, Chief Schultz and Chief Breen to come up and individually talk about their two uh, their uh, officers and uh, firefighter. And then I'm also going to have uh, Secretary Mercantile from the Department of Corrections come up and talk about uh, his Friday's Heroes as well. So why don't we start off with uh, Chief Schultz. Well, come on up. Well, thank you, Mayor. And of course, we're very, very proud of all the great work that's done by all of our first responders throughout the city of Albuquerque, throughout Bernalillo County and the state of New Mexico each and every day. The events that happened at St. Jude Stadius Church a couple weeks ago are the scariest type of events that we can imagine. Unfortunately, we see these things happen too often in our community, whether it's something like MCOR or what we saw at St. Jude's. But one of the good things that everybody can very feel very confident about is that the first responders that we have within our community are truly embedded in our community. Not one of these men stopped and said, hey, I'm off duty. It's not my job, it's somebody else's job. They put aside everything and immediately sprung into action. What's even better than that is we represent several different agencies, law enforcement at the local level, the federal level, fire department, other police agencies, uh, and corrections. And everybody very quickly came together, reverted back to training. They knew that they had to do two things. One, stop the action and make sure that an offender could not commit any more damage or injuries. But then immediately they went into the other aspect of being a first responder that's caring for the people who were hurt and injured as a result of the actions. Uh, in the case of Officer Diaguel of the Albuquerque Police Department, uh, again, he knew exactly what he needed to do. Stop the offender, secure him, and get him away from the event so everybody else could respond and start uh, doing the first aid. So again, this is a perfect example of the quality of public safety people we have in our community, and I'm very, very proud of all the work that everybody did. Thank you. Now I'll have uh, Chief Breen from the Albuquerque Fire Department come up and say a few words as well. Thank you, sir. None of these men would tell you that they're a hero. 
um, but they what they did was something really extraordinary. They saw a need, a dire need, they got involved, and this is what you can expect from public safety professionals from around the state of New Mexico. These guys jump into action when they see a need to help their fellow man and to serve the public. And, um, and we're very proud of all of them. And this is how we always work together. Um, Greg Aragon is one of our firefighters. We're particularly proud of him. He does a great job every day. He's an extraordinary firefighter. Um, he's been recognized before, and uh, we're not surprised at all that he saw something, responded, and um, took great action with these other, these other brave men uh, to stop a horrific act and prevent somebody from really being hurt and killed. So it's our honor to, to honor them today. Sir, I see. What I, what I normally do, and I'm, before I turn it over to Secretary Mercantile, uh, on Fridays, you know, if you've come to our Friday's Heroes, you'll know that we had a special coin commission for Friday's Heroes. And if I can get it out of this bag, it's kind of a warm day. This is the coin uh, for the Albuquerque Police and Fire Departments and Emergency Management that we had commissioned for this exact purpose. It's got a seal for the city of Albuquerque on it, and it's got uh, the logos of the Albuquerque Police Department, the Albuquerque Fire Department, and our Emergency Management Group on that. Normally we give these just to city employees, but today we're going to share them with uh, other individuals in our community. So I just want to give one of these coins, these Friday's Heroes coins, uh, to each one of our heroes today. As we said earlier, this was uh, kind of a multi-jurisdictional hero day. Uh, I'm going to bring uh, Greg Mercantile up to talk about uh, one of his great correction officers that was also involved in this incident. Mr. Secretary, thank you. Sir. See you. Thank you very much. This is an absolutely special day for myself and the corrections department because the disadvantage that we often face in corrections is is that the community themselves really are satisfied and comfortable to know that what goes on behind the concertina wire the rebar, the concrete is, is being handled and oftentimes the community doesn't really get to know what's going on until something bad happens behind those prison walls. And so today it's not only enough to say, because I think it was a remarkable job pointing out the discipline that was exhibited on April 28th, that, that I mean that instant obedience to a call for duty that was represented in fire, police and corrections. So it's not enough for me, and I think there's no need for me to kind of reiterate just how extraordinary that was and how important it was to make sure that the people attending mass that day weren't hurt. But here's what else it does, and this is what is, I think, so special. Every heart of every public servant from police, fire, and corrections here today in serving in any capacity that will hear anything about this award today what it's done is it's inspired something special in their heart. Because each and every one of us find our purpose in whatever discipline in public safety, every day knowing that we're here to do our very best, our sense of purpose. The question to the, the answers to the question of why we exist in our roles is to protect other people. This incident embodied our purpose. And so not only does it protect the folks, that were there in mass that day, not only did it have to happen there, but for every one of us and every one of the family members that have to worry about those public servants when they go to work every day, you've inspired our hearts. And for that, for every family member that's here, for each one of you, I can't tell you from the bottom of my heart how special you make me feel to have the opportunity to serve you. So God bless you all. What we'd like to do today is uh, our second highest award the New Mexico Corrections Department has available to recognize bravery is our Medal of Valor. And we would like to convey that today uh, to Sergeant Flores for what happened that day. So I won't, I won't, uh, I won't spend any more time talking about the incident itself. If I could ask Sergeant uh, Flores to come up, I'd like to have the, the special honor or convey this medal to him today and applaud both his act of bravery, his act of gallantry, and uh, his, his attention to service on that day. So based on the authority that's granted to me by the governor of New Mexico, I hereby convey the Medal of Valor to Sergeant Flores. God bless you, sir. Thank you, Thank you Jeff.